What's up guys? It's me, aka Raxum, and it's time for a brand new Raxum Reviews, and I'm going away from anything I've done so far. Uh, we're going to be actually talking about a graphic novel manga that I picked up from uh, my local shop uh, earlier this year, and uh, finally got around to reading, and it is a comic called Stitch. Now for those of you who don't know who Stitch is, shame on you. Shame on you. Um, Stitch is the title character from Lilo and Stitch. Uh, he is an alien from outer space, and he has had, let's see, two, three, four movies, I believe, as well as an animated series, uh, and then an anime that was done in Japan because Stitch was such a popular character over there. So this manga is actually a continuation um, of the Japanese anime, which is really cool. This takes elements from both the American stuff and the Japanese version. Um, we're introduced to characters from both. We meet Yuna, who is the girl from the Stitch Japanese series. And we meet Lilo, who is the girl from the Lilo and Stitch series. As well as Jumba, Pleakley, and you know all the other characters that are introduced throughout both of the series. Um, when I picked this up, I knew it was probably going to be a more juvenile you know, story, which it was. And that's totally cool. Um, the stories actually are a bunch of just different split up things. Each one is a standalone one shot little story that is kind of a, a fable. It's to help teach kids, you know, the difference between right and wrong as Stitch learns the difference between right and wrong. And just because of that, it's very endearing. Um, we get to see Stitch try and be a good person or good alien or dog, or whatever he's trying to pretend he is at that specific moment. Uh, in this, we start off the first half of the graphic novel with Yuna, and um, Pleakley and Jumba end up showing up later and becoming a part of the story. Um, and then about halfway through, we switch over to focus on Lilo's stories. <coughs> Excuse me. And all throughout, Stitch is trying to be a better person. He's trying to, you know function in normal society to be a, um, you know, a better person. Because in the Japanese version, uh, in the in, in the Yuna stories, he is told about this rock, that if you can pick up the rock, you will be given a wish. And Stitch thinks, you know, I'm strong, I can pick up this rock. He can't pick up the rock, because according to the legend, you have to be a very good person. And Stitch, as we all know from the series, is not a very good person. So he spends most of the time he's with Yuna trying to be a better Stitch. And um, oftentimes the story would start off with him being very bad at being good. And then later on, doing it despite the fact that nobody thought he'd be able to do it. Uh, I remember one story in, sp in particular where he was trying to catch butterflies and once he realized that if he caught them, they'd become, you know, endangered, he decided to leave them alone. And I thought that was really cool. Just seeing Stitch's personal growth throughout individual stories. Um, so, yeah. And then on Lilo's side, it's just Stitch and Lilo living together as they did in the stories. Um, so we end up getting to meet, you know, see a little bit of the everyday life that he had when he was with Lilo. And as he tried to become better. One of my favorite little excerpts from the Lilo stories was an art contest that Lilo was competing with that little red-headed bitch, Myrtle. Uh, Myrtle was going to be painting her dog, Gigi, which, if you watch the TV series, you know was actually one of the other experiments from Stitch's family. And um, Lilo decides that she's going to try and paint Stitch. And, you know, Stitch is antsy. He doesn't want to hold still. He ends up, you know moving around a lot and Lilo ends up going to help her her sister Nani to take care of some stuff and Stitch destroys the artwork and it makes Lilo sad she's angry at Stitch because she's a child and children get angry when they're sad and it ends up winning the competition and Stitch is like credited as the artist and it's really cool because Lilo then realizes that while Stitch may be a destructive force of nature what the way he does things is very beautiful and she ends up apologizing to Stitch. And at the end of every story, basically, it wraps up nicely so that Stitch is forgiven for his actions and everybody goes back to being happy together. Which I believe is a little unrealistic for for what to set the expectation for life for children is. But again, it's a children's manga. And I think that what it's trying to do is beautiful. Um, so if you guys haven't checked it out yet, 
I would recommend it. It's the Stitch from Tokyo Pop. It's written by Yumi Sukaroni, Sukarino, Sukarino. Yeah. And uh, this is the first volume. I know that there's another one. Um, haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna actually pick it up, but uh, the artwork inside is beautiful and it's pretty well written considering that it's written for children. So. Yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Check out my other reviews. We've got so many that have been coming out lately, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, in the meantime, check out everything else that I've thrown out there, and uh, stay frosty, guys. Get I'll toasty. see. You. I don't know if you heard that. The wife says, get toasty. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a great day.